as I said at the welcome event just, the, just over one year ago, I had my first Zoom call with President Bukele's team about hosting Miss Universe here in El Salvador. And I must admit, years of watching the news in the United States had made me skeptical. I said, do you have a venue? Is there infrastructure? And most importantly, is it safe? But to every question, to every question I posed, I was told, you must come see what we are doing here. This is the new El Salvador. I was told, we promise you, the people of El Salvador will deliver. We will be ready, and we want to welcome the world to our country. And as I said before, the pure passion and pride that I felt convinced me El Salvador would deliver. And El Salvador, you have delivered beyond our greatest expectations. Ahora todos somos salvadoreños. that we would work together to create a great event. I promised you I would personally use my years of experience to bring the message of the new El Salvador to the world. If I can leave you with anything, what I have learned as president is there is a critical difference between declaring the words transformational leadership and being a real transformational leader. Transformational leadership is not about one person. It can and it must be about putting the needs of the team above all else in creating a vision for the future. It can and it must be empathetic beyond self-interest. It can and it must be committed to building confidence through inspiration and teamwork, not insecurity and chaos. It can and it must be about motivation, not denigration. And above all, it must be about honesty, respect, integrity, and living by your word. One cannot just talk the talk, one must walk the walk. And that is my message today, for we all must commit to demanding the best of each other as we go forward in these times that are so challenging, not just for the organization, but for the world. And I know with all the talent that I see in this room, you will make that dream of true transformation uh, leadership a reality, starting with the leadership that I have found here in El Salvador.